please. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. My fellow party people. I thought it was time for a state of the channel address. So here it is. I want to thank all the new subscribers since my return in November. I want to thank you for thinking for yourself. To not allow yourself to be bullshitted any longer by the fake crime channels. We will win the war on truth because defeat was never an option. And it never will be on this channel. We will never stand around and watch an innocent woman almost be set up and jailed for life for a crime she did not commit. Thank you. Thank you. Now, I want to ask all party people that when you leave comments in my worldwide award winning comments section, can you please try not to use the word him, her, he, she, they, them as this makes it more difficult to figure out who you are talking about. Please use full names or initials, like NK or NA. Leaving a message like, he said, she would go with him and bring her back, is no longer acceptable. I need to know who you're talking about so I can quickly answer your comment. The channel is growing and there are more and more comments and I like to answer all of them but I don't have much time to go through the string of messages to figure out who he and she and them are, as I'm always busy making new videos for you to watch. And I love long messages, so when you leave one, please use line breaks by hitting your enter button so it makes it easier to read your message. Now, many channels just outright lie, but some just make mistakes because no one is perfect, including me. And I made a mistake that I need to own up to. In my worldwide award winning video title, In a World of Secrets, In a World of Sound, I said Chris points towards Steeple Rock Drive when Chris mentioned Kirsten's name. But I am wrong. Chris is pointing toward the back of his house, not the front. This proves, beyond a reasonable doubt, that Chris was not pointing to Steeple Rock Drive. So the Christie, who lived at 6323 Steeple Rock, is not Kristen, that Chris referred to, and I was 100% wrong. What is interesting, at least to me, is how I figured out my own mistake. When I work at my desktop, I sit up. When I am in bed, I lay down. So the other night, I was in bed, and I watched that video on my iPad, and I figured out Chris is not pointing to the front of his house, he was pointing to the back. Yet when I made the video, I incorrectly thought he was pointing to the front of the house. I feel so dumb. How could I make such a dumb mistake? I'm the fucking king for fuck's sake. Well, I don't know, but I did and I'm sorry. And I want the YouTube world to know that I have accepted my apology. Therefore, I no longer believe 6323 Steeple Rock was the possible safe house. What this proves though, is that Nicole Atkinson did not go back to 6323 Steeple Rock at 2.32 p.m. on Tuesday. So, it proves that Atkinson went back to Chris's house. Clearly Chris must have called Atkinson when all the cops and search dogs left his house. Then Atkinson drove back to Chris's house for some reason. And Atkinson did not stay at Chris's house long, as she never turned off the car engine before driving home afterward. So Atkinson either dropped something off at Chris's house, or she picked something up. And one day I might figure out what it was. Anyway, that's it for the state of the channel address party people. Short and to the point, just like my videos. So thanks for being here, for commenting on my videos, and for thinking for yourselves. God bless you, and may God bless the USA. Thank you. Thank you everyone. Thank you. Drive safely. I'm not
But I keep trying Cause that's what I 